Hi, I'm Dr. H from MagicExperiments.com, where science should be for everyone. Today we're going to do an experiment with glow in the dark. Stephanie is my assistant today. Stephanie, have you ever gone camping or gone out late at night? What's one of the most favorite things that you like to see at nighttime? Fireflies. Fireflies, yeah. Fireflies are little tiny bugs that glow at their ends. And they do that to signal to other fireflies where they are. I'm going to ask my assistant to close the blinds and close the lights in the room so that we can get it a little bit darker. And I'm going to show you as she's doing that how we're going to make something glow in the dark. So what you need is you've got to get an ordinary black light. Okay, Black light is a light bulb that's dark. It can be blue or purple in color. And you just buy that at a local hardware store. I have a black light here that I'm going to use for this experiment. It's a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm going to ask my assistant to help me hold the black light and I'm just going to place ordinary items just to show you. So this is water, just ordinary tap water. And I'm going to pass it through and you don't see anything. No glow in the dark, nothing. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a highlighter. So if you look at the highlighter, you can see how it glows, the cap of the highlighter. So what I've done is, if you check us out at magicexperiments.com, I can show you how I can take that highlighter and extract it into water and get something that glows in the dark. Just to show you another ordinary thing is tonic water. So you can get different colors that actually go in the dark. So we went from neon green to now bright blue. And one cool experiment that we can do is just taking ordinary cream, household cream, hand lotion, and I take some of the highlighter and I extract it in the cream and you get a cream that glows in the dark. So what's cool with that is you can do like mysteries at home or rub it into your hand and actually make magic germs in your hand. If you can take a look and you can see how my hand glows in the dark where I put my cream. Another experiment we can do and I'm not going to show you is how we can actually make magic bubbles. So instead of going to the store and paying all that money for soap that can make bubbles, I'm going to show you that you can just take ordinary solution, blow bubbles and get the bubbles to glow in the dark. So, if you're interested in these experiments, why don't you check us out at magicexperiments.com.